What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news, join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including WWE has started a war, is Jade Cargill debuting at Fastlane, will she join Bobby Lashley, does WWE have WrestleMania's main events booked already, Matt Riddle's new business career and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks like WWE has started a war. The top of today's news is WWE's decision to go all in with the 10th October NXT when AEW Dynamite will run against it. While AEW did clearly win the Wednesday night war between NXT and Dynamite, rumor has it that WWE sought to have NXT beat Dynamite in the 18-49 demo. Now the WWE has a chance to run an episode directly against Dynamite, and as a result the WWE is loading up the next episode of the Black and Gold brand. The WWE's main roster stars appear on NXT, but next week's show is a star-studded spectacular. Next week's NXT could feature the likes of John Cena, definitely Cody Rhodes, Asuka and Paul Heyman, plus Dominic just won the NXT North American Championship. So NXT is going to be loaded next week. Now, these are more than just random appearances. Cena is set to serve as Carmelo Hayes' cornerman when he takes on Bron Brecker, while Paul Heyman will stand in Brecker's corner. Asuka is scheduled to wrestle Roxanne Perez, and as for Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare will make a major announcement during NXT. It's probably Dusty Rhodes as my father. Anyway, Dynamite is still airing a special Title Tuesday episode which is currently headlined by the first AEW match of the Rated R Superstar Adam Copeland against Luchasaurus. In addition, AEW Women's Champion Soraya defends her title against previous champion Hikaru Shida. Which one would you be watching, NXT or Dynamite? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, conflicting reports on where Jade Cargill will debut. A Jade Cargill's recent WWE signing is still one of the most talked about situations in wrestling, including where she'll debut. She previously stated that she knows where she'll debut, however there are conflicting reports about just where and when this will be. Let's look at two stories concerning the former TBS champion's future home. According to Ringside News, the word we're hearing from WWE sources is that former AEW TBS champion Jade Cargill is currently expected to land on the Raw brand. Cargill was at the PC last week and back this week again. She was not at WWE NXT No Mercy pay-per-view over the weekend. We are told that once WWE is done promoting and hyping her signing, she'll soon be coming to TV. Some sources believe she'll be on TV by the end of the month, if not sooner. On the other hand, PW Insider is reporting that Cargill will be at Fastlane along with the upcoming Raw and SmackDown tapings. Wrestling News noted, whether or not she makes an appearance in front of the audience is unclear, but the likelihood is high considering the timing and her presence at the event. Thus, it's entirely possible that Cargill could show up at Fastlane to make her home on Raw, it's also possible that WWE will play up Cargill's free agent aspect, having her appear on the red brand and blue brands before settling on one brand. With the WWE pushing Raw's Nia Jax as a monster, some fans and pundits believe the WWE intends to pit Jax against Jade early on in Cargill's run. Whilst there's much excitement about her signing, the WWE will have to be careful in avoiding making fans feel they are pushing her down their throats. The WWE avoided this with Cody Rhodes, but Jade could be unknown for some members of the WWE Universe, unlike Cody Rhodes who began his career in WWE before jumping to AEW. Next up is Jade Cargill joining Bobby Lashley. While fans wait to see where Jade Cargill will make her wrestling home, SmackDown superstar Bobby Lashley knows where he'd like her to work. The Almighty recently spoke with 100.7 The Bay about Cargill and where she'd work. It's a big signing for WWE because she made a huge splash in wrestling years back with AEW. Her coming over just shows the levels she wanted to get there. That was the next level for her, which is a great deal. Her coming over, there are only a few places I would put her. Lashley, who recently aligned himself with the Street Profits, explained how Cargill could make an impact. I know there's a group putting themselves together right now, and if that group had a female component to it, I think that group would be even stronger. Might have to give her a call and see what her plans are, but I think she does fit in really well with our group if that was an opportunity. Wherever she goes, I know she's going to be a big star. Would you guys like to see Cargill in a faction, or should she spend time making a name for herself? While joining a major faction could get her instant recognition, it could lead to her getting lost in the crowd, thus needing more time to get over. Next up, does WWE have WrestleMania's main events booked already? There's interesting news concerning WrestleMania 40, as a report from Ringside News indicated that WWE has its main events booked. WWE fans are already hearing WrestleMania rumors, especially about the status of the card. We've been able to confirm that the main event matches for both nights of WrestleMania 40 are decided. The women's title matches are also decided. 
While things could change, Ringside News added that they've asked about Mania status more than once and that there may be a reason that big matches are already booked. And added too, but he's firm on it. BWE also checked into it after he doubted our first report that we put back in June. We keep circling back around to it even now and then to see if the status has changed because we know how WWE is. Without asking if I had to speculate, because of a lot of things have changed, Endeavor probably once clued in on the major shows and the matches that will be featured. Who do you think WWE is booked for its top title matches and, and who would you like to see compete? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, spoiler women's Royal Rumble winners revealed? Has the WWE chosen the winner for the 2024 Women's Royal Rumble? That rumor is circulating, so be sure to skip this story if you don't want to be spoiled. Now, Better Wrestling Experience recently answered a question about next year's winner. For the men, a few list names discussed and should be filtered just before Royal Rumble 24. Women have two solid winners. While he didn't name names, a September story from Sports Kida speculated about a possible winner. Damage Controls Dakota Kai. This would then lead to if Kai triumphs in the Royal Rumble match, the natural step for WrestleMania 40 will be Bailey vs Sky vs Kai. As always, nothing is set in stone as plans can change due to injuries or other situations that knock a wrestler out of competition. If our previous story is accurate, the WWE knows who will win both Rumbles. Next up, NXT call-ups coming soon. Should the WWE Universe expect to see some more NXT call-ups in the near future? Better Wrestling Experience recently was asked about this, responding, a few. This could be a wild speculation or it could be the case that BWE learns some call-ups are on the horizon but that wrestlers' identities remain unknown. Ringside News hinted at some possibilities including Cora Jade, Joe Gacy and Von Wagner. As fans have seen many times before, a call-up is no guarantee of success. Recent call-ups of Cameron Grimes have been serving as enhancement talent since his call-up while Caden Carter and Katana Chance went from being NXT Women's Tag Team Champions to be missing in action. On the other hand, a promoted superstar could find success like Grayson Waller. Next up, will Ricky Starks join Jade Cargill and Cody Rhodes? Or could Ricky Starks be on his way to the WWE once his AEW contract expires? The super talented Starks has allies in Titanland and given his inconsistent booking in AEW, it wouldn't shock fans to see him join other AEW wrestlers. BWE seems to think there's a good chance of Starks heading to the WWE, noting I'd give it a 75% chance unless something happens. Next up, Karrion Cross returning to SmackDown soon? And where is Karrion Cross? and what is the tweet that has some fans thinking he'll be back soon on SmackDown? He recently tweeted this mysterious message, Some believe that it's a corruption by proximity, something so malicious that it changes everything around it. Others will see the truth. It was there all along, buried underneath layers upon layers of convoluted lies. It just needed a little push. Can you see it yet? Across has been off TV for some time since 11th August SmackDown. Now it's unknown what Cross has been doing with his time off, but it's known that he has outside interests such as filmmaking and acting. Fans familiar with Cross's work outside the WWE knows he's one of wrestling's most gifted minds and has much to offer both in the ring and outside of it due to his creativity. A carrying Cross's WWE return hasn't impressed fans who expected the company to do more with him. While he hasn't had an embarrassing run like he did during his previous time on the main roster, he's one of WWE's most underutilized talents and could easily work in the main event. Unfortunately, Triple H has done a little better at booking him than Vince McMahon did other than keeping that stupid looking helmet off him. And finally, Matt Riddle's new business career. Now, last but not least, Matt Riddle has a new business endeavor following him being future endeavored by WWE. The former superstar took to Instagram to announce he's going to debut his own strain of cannabis with the brand Riddle OG. What do you think of his new venture? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.